Hi everyone, Tara here. I've just got a lovely bunch of flowers. Aren't they beautiful? So full of colour. How many colours can you see? Reds and yellows, oranges and whites, greens and different shades, dark and light greens. They're not the same flowers either, are they? I wonder if you can recognise any flowers you know. Can you see the roses? Can you see the lily? Some of these lilies haven't opened up yet. Can you see the daffodil? Can you see the chrysanthemums? They're all so beautiful, but they're all so different. Some of them smell, and some of them have different petals. Some of their leaves are shaped differently, and so are their petals. When I look at these flowers, I think how amazing God is to make all of them. And Christians believe that God thinks that his creation is amazing too. Because in the Bible it says that when God made the plants, he said, it is good. No matter how different they are, each flower and plant is good in God's eyes. Hey Tara, it's Simon here. I love your bunch of flowers. But could you imagine if you had a whole group or a whole school of children in front of you, just as if you were speaking in an assembly? Well, it would be a bit like looking at your bunch of flowers. Every child you looked at would be different to look at, but they would be amazing too. And Christians believe that God made people. And when he made people, he said, it is very good. Each of us are different but each of us is made very good by God. Hmm. But Simon, if we are made very good by God, how can some people treat other people differently because of who they are or what they look like? Silence! Silence in the court! Now, Tara Congdon, you have been brought here to answer the charge of whether you ate my last Rolo. Yes, yes, I, I did. I'm, I'm really sorry. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know it was yours. I thought it had been left out for, for anyone to eat. Well, I don't care what you say. I find you guilty. Now, for sentencing, well, normally eating my last Rolo carries out a sentence of buying me a new packet. <clears throat> However... You have brown eyes and I don't like people with brown eyes. You think ABBA are the best band when I know it's Little Mix. And worst crime of all, you support Manchester United. Therefore, I sentence you to a hundred years in jail. No! It seems very unfair to judge people on what they look like or what they like or who they are. Instead, we should all follow the golden rule. Does anybody know the golden rule? I think we need the judge to read the golden rule to us. The golden rule is treat other people the way you want to be treated. In the Bible, Jesus used this golden rule too. He looked to help other people no matter who they were or what they'd done. Even when others looked down on them or didn't think that they were good enough or as good as them. And you know what? They even told Jesus that he was wrong for helping them or spending time with them. In fact, the Bible says that there are two important rules or commandments for Christians to follow. The first is to love God with everything that we do, everything that we say, and even everything that we think. And the second is to love our neighbours as we love ourselves. 
Jesus told a great story about following this golden rule. Check this out. The Miracle of Mercy, the Good Samaritan. This is Jesus, hey. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. Please help. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, The one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, Yes. Now go and do the same. I wonder who was following the golden rule in this story. Was it the robbers? Or the priest or the temple worker, the Levite? Or was it the Samaritan? Well, the Samaritan, he saw the man who had been beaten up and he stopped and he bent down and he helped the man. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. Yes, I think the Samaritan helped because he cared for the man. He felt compassion and kindness for that man. All the things that he would have liked to have been done for himself. The Samaritan saw the beaten man as his neighbour who needed help. Jesus was teaching us that it is more important to love than to judge. The golden rule helps us to love our neighbour by treating other people the way that you would like to be treated. Have a think about all the people in your school or at home. Think about your family, your friends, your neighbours. And don't forget that that means everyone we meet, not just your next door neighbour. How are they different to us? How are they the same? 
What could we do that will celebrate the differences that there are? How could we use the golden rule to help us make sure that people are not being treated unfairly or poorly just because of those wonderful differences? And maybe, maybe let's turn our thinking into a prayer. And if you agree with what I say, then say Amen at the end, because that's what Amen means. It means I agree. Dear God, thank you for making us all unique, different and special. Thank you for all the things that make me, me. Please show us ways to celebrate the differences between us and to follow that golden rule of treating each other as we would like to be treated ourselves. Please be with us and watch over us all, especially at this very difficult time. Amen.